to be captain again? Yeah, it's, um, I don't know if it's uh, ever happened in the history of a footy club again, but I'm not sure. But um, no, it feels pretty good. I learn a lot from Leah this season, so um, I'll take that on. And um, no, I'm just really excited for, for 2020 and what we can um, produce. So yeah, looking forward to it. How do you think you've changed as a leader in that time? Oh, I've, um, I've tried, tried to, I know Leah was really good at um, building those off-field relationships and um, I'm always getting around the girls in the social setting so I've been trying to really work um, hard on getting to know the girls personally um, and we've been, a lot of us have been together for the last four years and um, prior to that so trying to really work on those relationships, the genuine friendships um, because um, you know you care a lot more about your friends and um, I feel like all my teammates are now um, my great friends and we all care about each other so um, trying to really grow on that. How do you think the team's improved headed into 2020? Oh just the vibe around the place, um, Craig and Bree and the coaches have recruited really well, um, they've brought in some really great people, some great players with great skills um, so 2020 is looking really positive for us, um, the girls are putting in the really hard work on hot sunny days like this um, but the, the recruiting they've done is um, sort of helped us. Um, what we didn't have this year um, It's going to move us really strongly into 2020. So looking forward to seeing how they go. You talked about building them relationships. It seems like every year you've got like 10 new faces. Yeah. How difficult is it when you've got a third of your team fresh every year just about? Um, well, you've basically got to bring them in really quickly. Um, like I said, um, we, we have a lot of social get-togethers um, prior to the season kicking off. Um, a lot of the girls that we did bring in, uh, we had in our winter series team. So um, forming friendships from then um, in the middle of the year was um, important. But, and, and you also play against them in the um, local Quaffle League. So um, there was a couple of the girls that we didn't actually know, obviously Orla from Ireland and then Lucy, she was um, from it was Adelaide. So we have sort of made sure we got around those girls and um, it feels like we're already so, super comfortable with each other um, and yeah, growing together. You're probably, you've lost like a few of your bigger names in the last off season or two. I imagine you'll be, um, predicted to maybe not go so well next year like how, how do you think you will fare considering you've lost like a, a core of your team I guess over the, the past few offices? Yeah well we've been tipped the underdogs for most of the competition and that's probably um, a title we like we thrive off of that um, as I said the new girls that uh, Craig's recruited has um, instantly lifted us um, it's replaced what we sort of really really needed um, we've got a lot of speed and talent uh, we've got some mature bodies, uh, which is, we, we're genuine, uh, we were normally a little bit smaller. We've got some really mature, strong bodies, um, like I said, speed, and we've um, recruited well. So I think um, those girls, it's going to be such a tight competition come um, selection day for Craig, it's going to be a bit of a headache. So um, just from what he's brought in and to the girls that are already in the squad that are developing really rapidly. Do you think you might surprise some people this year? Um, we won't surprise ourselves because we know um, we know the competition's pretty strong um, in in house. Um, but again, we're always tipped as the underdogs. Um, not sure why, but um, we sort of like you know living up to that um, that pressure. That we actually don't have the pressure on game day, because, so we thrive off that. Um, yeah, so looking forward to what the critics might say, but we're um, yeah, super pumped for 2020. It's pretty positive around the club at the moment, so I'm um, looking forward to it. Can you? Two years in charge, two grand finals. <laughs> <laughs> they say third time's lucky, right? <laughs> no. Um, yeah, well, I, that's um, just the groups that we've had. Um, we've tried to build on that in the last three years, and last year was, uh, this season, sorry, I keep saying it's last year. Um, we just, sort of stayed in the same sort of um, position we were in the last from the last two years so we're really trying to build um, and change the way we play a little bit we've, we've got um, not going to give it all away but yeah we've we've got plans grand plans um, this season and hopefully we can fulfill them just tell us a bit about Shani your vice captain the first time that she's been elevated to such a position what can we expect from her yeah, Shani's great. I've um, loved seeing her develop over the last three seasons. In, in particular, um, just in this off-season, Shani's strengths are probably a lot of my weaknesses. So um, I'm really looking forward to working with her, 
Um, as I said, she's so inclusive of the team. She brings us all together in the social aspect and on the field, off the field. Um, so yeah, she's um, exciting and she's such a great um, person as well as player. So I'm really excited that um, she's going to be alongside me.